Okay, we're going to do lesson 14-5, measuring liquid volume. So we already learned about estimating liquid volume using milliliters and liters, okay? So we know that milliliters are like an eyedropper, and liter is like a large water bottle. Or two small water bottles, like the regular size water bottle that most of us drink is 500 milliliters. So two of these would be one liter, okay? So two regular water bottles because 1,000 milliliters, so 1,000 eyedroppers is the same as one liter. So 1,000 eyedroppers would be the same as two of these containers, okay? Or kind of like a bigger one like this being a liter, okay? So let's take a look here. Okay, capacity liquid volume is the amount a container can hold. So you can measure capacity using milliliters and liters. So the marked container, this one right here, has a capacity. If you look at it, this is like, like a measuring cup, right? Okay, this is like a measuring cup that you would use, and you can see on there that, or maybe you can't see, it does say one liter, and there's a thousand milliliters. You can see the lines on it there. So it says 100 milliliters, 200 milliliters, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1,000 milliliters, which is the same as one liter. That's really hard to see, but... We'll have, we'll have better ones in class. Okay, so this has, this is the line for one liter. So it has a capacity of one liter or here's 500 milliliters, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1,000. 1,000 milliliters, that one, okay? All right, so Jake filled a can of water. This is his, his can. So he took, he took a can and he um, filled it up, okay? And then he poured it into a one liter container. He took the, the can of water, filled it up, and poured it in here, okay? And it's showing that it's less than halfway, right? So this is, he, this is the water that he poured from the can into there. So it looks like we're at 100, 200, 300, 400, if that line is 500. So the capacity of this can is 400 milliliters. So sometimes if you have a can like this and it doesn't have a label, it doesn't have a number, what you can do is pour the water in there and then pour it into a container that has the markings on the side and then see how much you have. And that's one way to measure how much a container is. So now here we, it looks like we have this laundry um, soap container and she fills it all the way up with water and then she pours the water into different size containers like this. And she wants to know, well, what was the capacity of this container, okay? So she filled up two um, measuring cups, which were one liter, and then partially filled up the third. Okay, so how many liters does she have? Well, this one's a liter and that one is a liter. So she has two liters plus this is 500, so that's 600, 700. So she has the capacity of this big water jug here is two liters and 700 milliliters. Okay, if we put, added those two together, that's not quite three liters. It didn't fill it up all the way to the top there. It's less than three liters, but it's definitely more than two liters. It's two liters and some milliliters, okay? It's kind of like being eight years old and half of the way to nine, or a little bit more than nine, okay? All right, so let's look. We're going to divide this up into two different sections here, okay, A and B. So we're just going to look at this part first. We're, we're not looking at that part. Okay, what's the total capacity represented? So this is one liter and two liters. So we can write it two different ways. We can write two liters 
and 500 milliliters. Or I could say it's two and a half. It's two and a half milliliters. I could do it that way also, okay? But it's two liters and 500 milliliters. It's not quite three liters. Or it would be filled all the way to the top there. Now let's look at this one. This is definitely, there's one liter, right? And then if this is 500, it's 100, 200, 300. So one liter and 300 milliliters. Okay, great job. See you tomorrow.